day two of the December 2023 annual Let's Go Affishing of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And I'm here in Kwara State. I am precisely in Ofa. Ofa is not too far from the from Ilori, the state capital of Kwara State. And we are here at the government secondary school in Relay, where we are about to have the crusade for today. And um, it's day two of the of the um, Let's Go Affishing. And the people in this place, one of the farm produce they produce here is actually sweet potato, which I haven't tested since we came here but I have I hope to have a taste of that and so even as we celebrate Jesus the reason for this season the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God Pastor E. Adeboe is going everywhere around Nigeria this season preaching the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ even as we draw as many to Christ and into the kingdom of God and we are expecting his presence here as he will be ministering my name is Lillian Okedegbe I'm saying welcome to government secondary school here in a relay on where we are going to experience the glorious um, mercy of the Father. As a theme for this um, year, Let's Go Affishing is the everlasting Father whose hand you will be touched today. God bless you. Now we want to receive the ministration of Mass Choir of Quarter Province 2. And immediately shortly after that, we'll be receiving the ministry of one of our pastors in charge of province. To lead prayer for youth and nation. In the person of Pastor R.C. Oluwa Kalu, the pastor in charge of Youth Province 17. I want to know the Oluwa Oluwa Kalu, I want to know what Lori Yajo Tawan Dota Queen, Youth Province 17, to one in the choir. Let's receive the message of the choir. I just like by share and share and we are calling number you, Oluwa Kukufuni. Hey, moti ri re gba o. Emi ti ra nu gba o. Hallelujah eh. Hallelujah eh. Emi ti ri re gba o. Moti ko re dele. Hallelujah eh. Hallelujah eh. Moti ri re gba o. Hallelujah, oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout Hallelujah. 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 Mokayo Dele Hallelujah Mokayo Dele Mama Kayo Dele Hallelujah Hallelujah Mora Nuba Motiro Golo Hallelujah Shout hallelujah. If I were you, I will prophesy to my life. This is the season of divine repositioning. If I do not it on my yacht today, if I do not win, I love you today. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. Ah, mon chorire. Attitude, il est. The time has come for us to pray for our nation Nigeria and to pray for the youth. So we can start with the youth. If you are a youth in the house, jump up and shout hallelujah. Only those that have enough strength can jump. That is what the Bible says. The glory of the youth is in their strength. But when we look at Nigerian youth, some of them, their strength, which is their glory, have been wasted. You are going to lift up your voice and cry to God and say, My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, all the strength and the glory of our youths, let them be restored. Open your mouth and cry to God. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and cry to God. Baba, me, Baba, you can you. do better. All the glory, go, go. all the strength go, go, go. of the youth they are have been taken away by the enemy. Let there be restoration today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for yourself as a youth. If you are Parent, parent for your children, open your mouth, open your mouth, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we are praying, when you look at any nation, when you look at any village, any city, any town, the people that make things happen are the youth. But unfortunately, the positive agent has become a negative agent. We are going to pray to God because our everlasting father, he has an everlasting arm. To draw from the Mary clay all the youth that have been wasted by the enemy. Lift up your voice and say, My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, and stretch your everlasting arm to rescue all our youth from destruction. Open your mouth and cry to God. Stretch forth your everlasting arm to rescue all our youth from every destruction, from every part of destruction. Open your mouth and cry for the youth. Open your mouth, open your mouth. And if you are the youth in the house, pray for your Oh, Open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 8, a land was without joy. But only one youth, only one youth, entered into the land. And the Bible says, there is joy in the city. Acts chapter 8, 8 and 9. I want you to lift up your hands and cry to God. Make a decree. Say, my father, my father, as of today, all our youth we become an agent of joy to any to offer for every environment in this vicinity to our state to Nigeria all our youth we become an agent of joy to our nation 
Nigeria. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Why do we combine the prayer for youth and nation together? In that Acts chapter 8, it was a youth that entered into a land. That land was having a lot of problems. The same thing happened in 2 Kings chapter 2. Only one youth, only one youth called Elijah, Elijah. Elisha. He entered into Jericho. Jericho. The situation of Jericho is like the situation in Nigeria. But only one youth entered into Jericho. And he healed the land. There was joy in the land. Lift up your voice and say, Father, we commit Nigeria into your hands. Use our youth to turn around Nigeria for good. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and cry to God. Open your mouth and cry to God. Open your mouth and cry to God. Oh Lord of all, use our youth to fight for Nigeria. Open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. The Bible says there was a war between Israel and the Philistines. In Nigeria, there is a war between us, in, you know, human beings in Nigeria, citizens of Nigeria, about their economy, corruption, darkness, hunger. There is a battle. God use only one you to confront Philistine. God Goliath. And he cut off his head. Raise up your right hand if you are youth in the house. This is your sword today. And cry to God and say, My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Every Goliath of hunger. Every Goliath. Of darkness, every Goliath of corruption in Nigeria. I call their head off. Open your mouth and begin to call their head off. You are the one God wants to use. Go to turn around Nigeria. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, cry to God. Open your mouth, cry to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lastly, the Bible says Jesus Christ gathered the people together. And it seems to him that they are hungry. They are hungry. He asks, where can we get food? And they make a lot of you know explanation. But God used only one youth to provide small quantity of food. And God multiplied it. I'm prophesying for every youth here today. If you are make a roll like thunder, God will make provision for Nigeria through you. Lift up your voice and say, My father, my father. In the name of Jesus, to me, make a bottom provision for Nigeria. Open your mouth and cry to God. Open your mouth and cry to God. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Amen.
youth in the house. We cast fire to make a change happen. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I
Please join me to welcome Daddy to the podium. Your father, Baba, you know. The general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church. Allah Baba wa Enoch Adejare Adeboye. In the name of God, God is Lord. God is Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know there is somebody here this morning. It doesn't matter what the devil may try. This fellow is going to see the new year. Now, if you are that one, let me hear you shout a big. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Normally, when we go a fishing like this, it is my duty to visit as many places as possible. And so I don't normally wait when I get to any particular place. I come down, I pray for the people, and then I go to the next one. But I regard those of you who are here as very special. So before I pray, I will want to share with you a little bit. We are talking about the everlasting father. Who is this everlasting father? See, Jesus has many names. And every name has an importance. When he says, I am the way. That is to tell you that when the world says there's no way, come to me, I will make a way. Which is why I'm telling somebody this morning. Every door that has been closed against you shall be opened. When he says, I am the truth. He is saying, if only you can know me, then you'll be free. That's why I'm sure. If you can know me, that's why I'm sure. That every bondage in your life will end this morning. When he says, I am the life. He is saying that if anything is dead, just tell me and I will bring it back to life. That's why I know that everything that the devil has stolen from you, you will get them back. So when in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 Isaiah 9 verse 6 When he says my name is wonderful And wonderful means full of wonders It means he can perform wonders for as many people as possible 
Otuba to call say, he say, Yano for Palapa, only no one way near. So I pray this morning. Every one of you in need of miracles. You will get your own this morning. And then he says, I am cancelled. That is somebody who will give you advice when nobody else can do so. For example, a king had a dream. He forgot the dream. And he called the wise man. He said, tell me my dream. Which I've forgotten. And then tell me the interpretation. And then tell me the interpretation. Uh, the people say, tell us your dream. Then we'll give you the interpretation. He said, if you don't tell me my dream, and the interpretation, I will kill you. And then there is a man there called Daniel. He will say to him, just give me one night. Let me consult my God. Let me consult the counselor. And before the following morning, Daniel knew the dream and the interpretation. You see, this God has the kind of wisdom nobody has. Which is why I'm saying to all the students who are here right now. In the name of Jesus. You will never fail another exam. And then he says his name is Mighty God. The one who can do anything. The one who said to a woman who was 90 years old. That within a year you are going to have a child. And when the woman laughed. How can this be? This God says, is there anything too hard for me? Which is why I'm saying number one. Those of you that they consider barren now. Within a year. You'll be carrying your baby. Number two. In the life of somebody here today, all those things they consider impossible will become possible. And then finally he said, I am the everlasting father. Father. Father is not a name. It's a title. It means the source. And this God is your source. That is why nobody can tamper with your destiny when this father is your father. Because he said, before you were born, I have already known you. That's why I'm prophesying to somebody here. It doesn't matter what the enemy may try. You will reach your goal. Amen. Father also means provider. 
Now this father is the richest in the whole world. He says silver is mine. Gold is mine. He's the one who can make rich without adding sorrow. So whether you believe it or not, there's somebody here today. Before the end of the year, God is going to do something. That your family will never know poverty again. And then they call him everlasting. You see, if the president is your father, you will enjoy the powers of presidency for eight years. But after eight years, your father will become ex-president. But this father we are talking about is father forever. Nobody voted for him. He was not in power because of votes. And so nobody can vote him out of power. His name is I am. He was the one before. Oh, not he was. Lana. He was the one present. Oh, no one. Lonely. He will be the one tomorrow. Oh, no, no, tomorrow. Lola. Let me hear somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, okay, hallelujah. That is why as soon as you know him, your blessings will continue forever. The big question, however, is this. Are you one of his children? You see, because once upon a time, a woman came to him and said, ah, give me a miracle. I said, sorry, I don't give miracles to just anybody. He said, I cannot give the bread of children to dogs. He said, I only give my miracles to my children. So are you one of his children? Because if I ask now, how many children of God are here? Everybody will raise his or her hand. But the Bible says, God knows those who are his own. In Elisha, they have a problem. He said, every Jesha person is the child of Owa. But when the night falls, Owa knows how many children come to his house to sleep. Are you a child of God? Because if you are his child, you will no longer sing. Oh, ni ma dese mo. Because he's a holy God. And unless you are his child, you can't get his miracles. That's why this morning, you must make sure that you are his child. If you are not 100% sure, you can become one this morning. All you have to do is surrender your life to Jesus. That's why I'm going to count from one to five. 
If you want to be sure that you are a child of God, you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, come and stand here in front. Let us pray for your salvation. Once you are saved, you become one of his children. And then you begin to enjoy his miracles. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, come now. I'm counting. One. Any? Two. A.G. Don't wait for your friend. It's your life. You are the one deciding to surrender your life to Jesus. When you become one of his own, the everlasting father will continue to meet all your needs. Three. And today is your day of salvation. Don't delay. Only God knows when we will have another meeting like this here in Erinle. So you better come now. Oh, say that Four. Any? Five. Six. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, okay, those of you are already in front. And those who are still on the way. Cry to him. And say, Lord, have mercy on me. Save my soul. I want to be one of your children. I don't want to have anything to do with the devil and sin anymore. Please save my soul. And the rest of us, let us stretch our hands to these our people and pray that the one who saved our own souls, we save their own souls also. Go ahead, pray for them. And if you are still on the way, you have to hurry up now because I'm about to pray for salvation. Hurry up now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, I want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for these people who have come forward. Please remember your promise. That whosoever will come unto you, you will know why cast out. They have come to you now. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Forgive all their sins. Save their soul. Receive them into the family of God. And from now on, any time they call on you, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now I rejoice with those of you who have come forward. And I'm promising you that by the grace of God, from now on, I will be praying for you. And very soon you will be receiving miracles. Even those who have not asked for. Then you will know somebody is somewhere praying for you. And that someone will be me. That's why I will need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. And I promise you I'll be praying for you. 
that you wait where you are now. Because I want to pray for everybody. Before you pray for yourself. Now those of you who believe that today is your day that God is going to answer you today stand on your feet and shout hallelujah now I'm going to pray for you first and then you are going to ask God for a Christmas present you ask him for a miracle so big, only it's, God can do it. So I'm going to pray first. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for these people who are here. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I'm committing everyone here into your hands. Whatever they ask you today, before the sun sets, give unto them. If they ask for healing, give it unto them. If they ask for progress, give unto them. If they ask for anointing, give unto them. If they ask for fruitfulness, Father, give unto them. If they ask for breakthrough, Father, give unto them. Everybody here today, before Christmas Day, let them have their testimony. God will bless you. You will enter the new year with joy. You will spend the new year with joy. It shall be well with you. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now it's your turn to pray. I've told God that whatever you ask from him, he will give you today. So it's now your duty. To ask for any miracle you want. For the next five minutes. Forget everybody on your right. And forget everybody on your left. And talk to God. It's between you and God now. Go ahead, ask him. Ask him for it. Great miracle. And he will give it to you. God bless you. Glory be to God for the soul saved today and the experience of being in the presence of the Father is actually indeed a what being and also thank God for this season. As we're celebrating Jesus Christ, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we also thank God that people are getting to know him even through the ministration of our highly esteemed Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. This is day two of the annual uh, Let's Go Official of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and we have reached you from the government secondary school here in Erile um, of far in Kwara State, Nigeria. I'm Lillian Ogedegbe and as you can see people are just leaving this um, school compound and um, it's been a wonderful time so even as you're celebrating this season and looking forward into the new year always remember that the everlasting Father's encounter is that encounter you need as you surrender your life to Jesus Christ and celebrate this season. God bless you and stay with us on Dove TV as we bring you all the places that Pastor E. Adewoye will be ministering all through um, the Let's Go Fishing of 2023.